I'm joined by veteran Jammu and Kashmir politician and leader of CPIM, uh, Muhammad Yusuf Tarigami, uh, victorious from Kulgam and Atna constituency. Sir, welcome to the week. Thank you. First Thank of you. all, I must congratulate you for your fifth successive victory in your uh, Thank constituency. Thank you. It is, it is really a victory for all of us. Yes. You are a veteran politician of the state and you have seen so many elections. How different were these elections for you? And you see, for the state also? Yes. Uh, the difference uh, lies that uh, this is the only election which was held after a long duration. Uh, we had uh, last assembly election uh, in 2014 and then our assembly got dissolved in 2018. And this is the only area in the whole of the country uh, where there has been no assembly for a long duration. Yes. And that makes these elections uh, something unprecedented mm. and these elections a little unique as well. Mm. That's why people of uh, Kashmir, Jammu and uh, both in cities and in towns and uh, villages, they virtually were quite enthusiastic about uh, uh, seizing this opportunity, availing this opportunity to shape their future. Your constituency was one of the most hotly watched constituency, but ultimately you prevailed. You see, uh, it, it is all because of uh, the first thing is that uh, every time, uh, every election is a challenging one for every person, no doubt about that. But it was more challenging now because one outfit called Jamaat Islami, hmm. Uh, is settled continued uh, to be under uh, certain restrictions, banned organization. Right. But they were uh, facilitated by the government, by the administration, to fight as independents. And uh, there is no, uh, uh, I think, denying the fact that anybody has a right to contest as and when they think it proper for them. But certain questions remain. The Jamaat Islami has been advocating. Uh, something uh, like self-determination, like accession with Pakistan. And then they have been promoting, seen to be promoting in their statements, in their debates, in discussions, in their working, uh, promoting armed struggle as a means to get that hand. Hmm. So finally, you see, the question is, all of a sudden, this U-turn, why? They have to explain it to the people. That's one. That's right. The second thing is, uh, the government of India is using time and again uh, this question of this phrase of uh, uh, indulging in appeasement, mm. uh, accusing the mainstream political parties, National Conference, Congress, PDP, CPM and all others, that you are uh, adopting a policy of appeasement towards the sessionists, towards the extremists and all that. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, uh, they are promoting those who have been advocating till yesterday. Yes extremism, separation, or whatever you call it. Right. Good or bad, I am not giving a judgment. But certainly they have been propagating all this. How this collusion between two extremes, BJP government and the Jamaat Islami. Mm -hmm. So these are two extremes meeting somewhere. Pulgam is the best suited place for them. That is what they have decided. That's made it more interesting, mm -hmm. more challenging. Now the verdict is out. You are a senior and one of the most experienced politicians of our state. How do you read the verdict where in the alliance has gotten overwhelming support from the people? How do you read this verdict? No doubt what is about, the message? No doubt about it. The message is loud and clear. The message is, you see, uh, for some people it's a big surprise. For me as a student of politics, it's not a surprise. This is what the people they are underestimating the strength, the capacity of the people to think about their future. Mm. They are taking people for granted. That is how they make a mistake in judging the mood of the people at different times. Now, these elections have demonstrated sufficiently. They use right time for the right things to be done. Mm. And whenever there is some opportunity, they grab it. Today, after a long gap, this opportunity was provided to the people of Kashmir. And they did what was expected. And the message is uh, that uh, whatever has been done to us, the people of Jammu and Kashmir, historically, a uh, certain amount of autonomy was provided by to us by the Constituent Assembly of India. 
But that was not a favor by any group of people. It is not that of a favor and a concession or an appeasement as the BJP has been uh, on record saying at different times. But the fact remains that this has been debated in the Constituent Assembly of India. This was a compact, a pact between the leadership of Jammu and Kashmir and the Indian Union. Right. That bond of relationship was abrogated, assaulted, unilaterally, not through debate, not through discussion, not taking the stakeholders into confidence, uh, but imposing restrictions, even internet facilities, telephone facilities, connections were shut down and all that, you know. Have you ever seen anywhere happening, deciding the fate of the community of the people, irrespective of them and putting them under uh, prison like situation, this has happened in Kashmir. And they got this opportunity, now the people of Kashmir got this opportunity, little opportunity, limited opportunity, I mean, they have expressed it so loudly. Look, we are here. We don't accept what you have done to us. Our voice is unanimous, most of it, to reject that treatment, which is undemocratic, unconstitutional. And uh, some observers are saying that this election has also highlighted a regional divide. How do you as an alliance partner intend to bridge that divide between Jammu and Kashmir? You see, there might be. Th that is of course true that we are, we are having different regions, different communities and that is uh, whatever composition has been. There have been certain different and unfortunately, this government, the BJP government, instead of unifying the ranks of the people, they have their policy has been divisive. This is my belief, and this is what they have been practicing so far. At every level, not only in Jammu and Kashmir, in the rest of the country, mm. divisive politics, dividing the ranks of the people on the basis of faith, on the basis of religion, on the basis of creed. Mm. That is what they have applied here, putting Jammu against, go through the, the a language which was used by the BJP leadership in Jammu. They have put Jammu extremely, they have virtually frightened them that something is coming up. You have to be here. Mm -hmm. They have not provided them any relief so far. We are excluded. We, the people of Kashmir, are in their eyes excluded. But what about Jammu? Mm -hmm. The price rise is the same. There is no investment. The business is in under very, very difficult situation. And jobs are not available for the people. And then uh, denying them every opportunity of better life. So that has been the treatment. But when it comes to for the elections and all that, divide them, put Jammu against Kashmir, frighten them as if some, some big ghost is emerging out of the scene. That will be that will be frightening you. Mm. So that is how they have divided, succeeded in dividing certain ranks. That is what uh, the mandate is today. But nevertheless, alliance will try to reach to the people of Jammu, every section of the society in Jammu. That remains our agenda. We are very conscious about it that we can't do in isolation from Jammu. And Jammu is part of us, we are part of Jammu. So together we have to manage for a better future, better future. Nothing more, nothing less, except whatever is uh, provided in the constitutional order. We want that status back to us. And how do you intend to deliver on the promises you made to the people during elections like? We have not, we have not. I must tell you very frankly, we did not make uh, sky the limit mm -hmm. of our promises, not at all. We have humbly told the people that we will express your concerns on the floor of the house. Whether we succeed or not, I have at least told my people there in my constituency that I don't want to have uh, false dreams, the set of dreams before you which are not to be fulfilled. Mm. But certainly, dreaming for a better future is not bad. Mm. I as a citizen and my people in Kulgam or elsewhere, they have a right to dream about good life at least. There is no sin for it. Mm. Why are you providing a certain restrictions or putting certain hurdles in the way. But what but, about the powers that the assembly doesn't have? Yes, yes, we will, that, that is exactly, you see, actually, actually, what this government has done, they have been talking about restoration of statehood right from prime minister to ordinary ministers and workers of BJP. Hmm. I just have a question. 
had it even during my campaign as well had they been sincere about it why did they go for second amendment in reorganization act recently before elections when the elections were about to be announced Pondi. by the election commission of india on the eve of election they have amended once again reorganization act what is that amendment not empowering the people not empowering the legislature the cabinet etc but disempowering further the assembly the cabinet and empowering whom unelected nominee of the government of india the lieutenant governor whole public order will be handled by not by the assembly not by the cabinet by the legislate by this lgs but how do you intend to deliver so that you see the question is no no we got this opportunity hmm. we got a limited opportunity to talk about the issues together first time we were not being give, given any any opportunity to express on the streets you and me you as a, uh, a media person were not given that much of opportunity to write what you wanted to to interview me or to uh, broadcast whatever uh, is required to be done mm. but the question is all these issues remain unsettled un unnoticed even just because there was no legitimacy in any platform now we have legitimacy in this platform called assembly now tarigami will talk about not only tarigami many others all others will talk about the issues of our people at least some legitimacy will be in our expression you carry the and so that so that the country people the if not the government if country does not listen to us at least our countrymen will listen to us they will they will come to know that what we are and what we are demanding are you mindful of the burden of aspirations of people post article 370 and the disillusionment sense of disenchantment how do you intend to address I, i'm that? not i'm not so sure that the whole process of disillusionment will be reversed in a one go it's mm. not so easy it's not so uh, uh, i think so smooth mm. but certainly there is an opportunity for talking about the issue that is a big step forward why are you talking about the great journey whether we can complete that journey or not who knows what happens tomorrow but certainly one step forward is important for the life of our people this is the first step in that direction let us pray for its success and uh, it sir uh, those people who were allegedly uh, were accused of being proxies we have seen their fate has been sealed that is the judgment you see that is what i am ta- talking about don't take the people for granted <coughs> you can't just rely on your proxies you can you can create myths you are free to do all that but fit myths get shattered when the reality is come forward so a real situation has emerged now real expression has emerged this is what my people want and i trust them though late because there was no opportunity there was no option left for them to express themselves one opportunity is there and they have expressed it that yes we know you we know your proxy is as well the center has committed to the restoration of statehood but because bjp has not come to power there are fears that the statehood might get delayed state, no it is a question of statehood has to be uh, who has who has uh, withdrawn the uh, status of statehood it is it is the union government One. the union government is there the parliament is there they can do it tomorrow and our is they doing it tomorrow no they will never they will not because it's not in their interest and it's not the policy that's what my position has been i will tell the country men in a in that legitimate forum that look they have the power to to withdraw the status of our statehood they have the power to restore it but they are not doing it just because they want to punish us So and you, now that is why we appeal to you to come to our rescue so are you saying that you are ready to wage a struggle for a statehood again democratically certainly democratically that is my point we will raise our voice the people of kashmir jammu have been given one opportunity of this assembly hmm. it is truncated it is restricted it is functioning is curtailed yes but certainly 
we are getting an opportunity to talk about nobody on earth can stop me and other friends of mine from talking and so that good people in the rest of the country will listen to us that something bad is happening this is not one way traffic everything is good everything is whatever they wa want us to believe something more is happening there so channels of communication will open up lastly and, the uh, analysts and observers are saying that this verdict by the people of jammu and kashmir is a disapproval of the article 370 moved by the bjp and splitting jammu and kashmir into two union territories what are your thoughts no it is a certain name i said it with mango that uh, this mandate is clear that this is disapproval of uh, the conduct of the government itself mm. the whole conduct of the government not only article 370 of course that is there 35a there are now now you look uh, in le itself mm. they were earlier celebrating this when this uh, uh, union territory status was given to them yeah. ladakh they were celebrating now they are on streets you and me are not on streets kashmiris are not on streets because we are not provided that opportunity we will be branded differently so what they are on streets and they have gone to delhi now and got the same treatment what we are getting here the arrests and all that so that means we are coming closer Leh and Kargil are coming closer, and Leh and Kargil are co coming closer to Kashmir, and we are coming closer gradually to Jammu as well. And we will march together for what? For better future, for restoration of rights which are guaranteed by the Constitution of India.